All right, what's up, folks, and happy uh, Wednesday? Is it Wednesday or is it Thursday? I'm pretty sure today's Wednesday, man. It, it always throws me for a loop when we have, like, a short week. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we have Monday off or, let's say, Friday off. I don't know. In, anyways, like, when I have a, a day off during a week, it, it throws me for a crazy, crazy loop, crazy curveball. I never know what day it is, but either way, guys, we are going to dive back into a little bit of a barn finder type game. Well, actually, no, it is barn finders, but... The issue is, man, I actually played this game. I did a really, really good episode. It was a crazy location that we went to. I actually saw an alien ship, a UFO, fly out of a lake and take off. It was crazy. I saw a dancing alien and some freaking boathouse type thing or something crazy like that. So what we have to do, guys, is actually go back to that location because I was there for like 30-something minutes. And I couldn't find, if you see on the right-hand corner here, I could not find the ground radar anywhere but we did get quite a bit of good stuff man we got quite a bit of good stuff that we brought back here and i'm not sure actually hang on we have to do something real quick right here let's dig a hole let's see what we can retrieve in our own backyard what is it hopefully it's a freaking ground radar bro because i don't know where it is it is a badminton badminton paddle or yeah that's badminton Okay, so we're going to mark that for transport, guys. Let's put our shovel away. We do not need... Put your weapon away, Tommy. What are you doing? Oh, damn. This thing's got a flashlight? What even is this? I have yet to know what that is. So, yeah, I'm not sure how to put that away. We're just going to keep it out, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know how to put it away. Somebody... There we go. We just press the up button. It is now gone so what we're gonna do folks is unload what we got i can kind of show you what we got a little bit uh uncle billy here is going to unload everything we can go over here to the shop we can at least put stuff up and make things you know ready or i guess accessible so when we do actually have a uh a sell i guess like we open our store we know what we're doing is this door unlocked i don't know it sure is let's see what we have guys see if we can actually place things here so yeah we did get an old chair we got the uh, the globe. This is all from the location that we're going to go to here in a little bit. We got the uh, knives. I don't remember getting the knives. The old genie lantern. Another globe. I had one of those as a kid, actually. And we got a ball. A ball for $30. Seems a little excessive, but hey, man, I'm not judging. I just want your money, right? That's all I care about. Here's a badminton thing we just got. And we did find whatever the hell. Oh, that's a duck. Okay, we found a duck. We do have that still that needs to be sold. And let's put the other chair. We found quite a bit of chairs, evidently, man. Quite a bit of chairs. I didn't realize we took so many chairs. I actually thought we took some pretty legit shit, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm not sure. I thought we had some better stuff. All right, we have two more things in storage, but I don't have any place to put those two said items. All right, so let's go back over here, guys. We're going to travel right back to that location. For those of you who have never been to this this cottage, I guess you can call it, it is freaking gorgeous, man. It is absolutely beautiful. Let me make sure I'm actually actually, actually recording this one this time because that I don't know how I messed that up, dude. It was a very distracting night. There was a lot of things going on. That 100% distracted me. So, yeah, I think that's what happened. And I totally botched the whole entire recording. I'm not even kidding you, man. I got done. And I was like, that was a pretty legit episode. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I look over and I'm like, bro, I was not even recording the actual gameplay. I was recording the starting screen that you guys see when you come into my games. That's what I was recording. I'm like, you got to be shitting me, dude. This is not cool. All right. Let's see if we can head back over to that location. Uh, our email here, so Lake House Trip. Hey, Bar Finders, I've got a job for you. I need the ground, that ground radar. Okay, so that is what we're looking for, guys. It is a typical radar. If you guys have not seen my one video, we actually do go out and explore an area with a radar gun, a radar detector. Not a radar gun, a radar detector. There's that freaking alien thing that flew out of the damn water. Yeah, we actually do that. I didn't really play. I played one episode, I think it was, and that was it for the radar one because it's pretty repetitive, guys. I mean, you you just walk around looking for treasures, right? You, we were a treasure hunter using a radar detector. So here is Otis's ranch. It is absolutely gorgeous here, man. If this was like a real-life ranch that I could purchase and I had enough money to do so, I would do it. Hell yeah. Absolutely. freaking lootly. 
All right, there it is, guys. This is exactly what it looks like. Uncle Billy's chilling there in the swing set. He loves it up there. He just drinks beer. We have some random folks on scene. Not sure who these people are, but they're here, and they are here to stay. Uh, Otis, that wild thug, always digging in the ground. So what I'm assuming, though, guys, is because we could not locate the uh, radar detector it is going to be buried somewhere we pretty much like looked all over the place let me give you guys a tour because obviously if you have never played this game you have never seen this particular location and where the alien ufo ship came out of it was down here with i don't know cheech and chong type guy it was down here dude it came out of the freaking water it was absolutely crazy we had a dancing alien here in this boathouse so let's see if it does come back up what's up homie is that alien coming no, no, back no, 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 no. <laughs> all right well can i jump in oh yep that's right we can jump in but we can't do anything else okay what was that blue thing right here maybe that was just a water hey billy do you know where homeboy buried the radar detector you're very very glossy and you're missing you're missing your fingers. They're in your pants. They're in your legs. Okay, so maybe, I don't know, man. Maybe it's over here somewhere. It's got to be somewhere. We got to be able to find where this guy buried the radar detector. But anyways, before we do that, guys, let's give you give you all a little tour. So I walked in here, and I'm like, oh, cool. And there was a dancing alien. Uh, alien. I want to say he was, like, maybe on a table here. He scared the shit out of me. I wasn't really expecting that. So it was uh, pretty bizarre. Maybe, actually, no, maybe I was down below. I might have been down here. I cannot remember. Nope, I was definitely up there. So we need to, actually, we need to find a couple more items here. I know I have a flashlight. It is going to be right there. How do we turn? There we go. Oh, that's our flashlight. I thought that was a gun. That's a crazy, crazy flashlight. Can we jump? Gate. Oh, can we actually take the boat out? Wait a minute. How do we open this bad boy? Oh, hang on, folks. Put your put your gun away, your flashlight. We can go in a canoe, I think. I think we can go in a canoe. I did not do this before. We're in this bitch. Let's go mudding, youngin. Mudding? What? Oh, we... Okay, I brought Uncle Billy with me on the canoe trip. So, folks, I had not... I have not been here. Let's get our, our axe out. Axe those bitch. Everything is so effing loud. <laughs> like, is it just me or what? Like, holy hell. Um, Nothing appears to be loud. Oh, whatever. We're gonna, oh, shit. Hang out, folks. We got to go back. I hit the wrong button. Oh, no. We're going to jump back in. Hopefully, it saved. Hopefully, it saved. We have our screenshot there, so let's just pray that it saved. If not, it's not that big of a deal. All we can do is jump back. That's what happens when you get excited, man. I'm like, oh, my gosh, we're in the canoe. We got to go. We got to go. And then, boom, hit the wrong button. So when you guys are playing the video games, lesson here, just slow down. Take your time. It's going to be okay. We probably have a black screen of death now, which will be really, really shitty. Play Y. Play way. Oh my gosh. Reading is hard. I doubt it's saved. Um, sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's just check and see where it's saved. If not, we'll just jump right over there, guys. We won't even worry about unloading our truck. Actually, yes, we will. We will unload our truck, but we won't worry about doing anything else. Okay, so we're still here. Perfect. All right, let's go back over here, guys. See that blue thing? It was just chilling right there. It was there again. So let's do this real quick. Let's open this door. Get on back downtown to Julie Brown's location. There we go. Jump down. The freaking canoe is gone. Are you shitting me? What? Billy. Hey. Oh, God. There it is. Whew. I was like, wait a minute. Where's the canoe at, my friend? It is gone. Gone, gone, gone. All right. Let's not do any nonsense. So we actually have a couple more things that we that we do have to get as far as like actual items. I want to say we have like have like two or three that we are missing. Um, but yeah, I had no idea this was even a thing, dude. Like somebody has some trulies, it looks like. So we got some more cans, some more bags, some more money. We are rolling in the dough. So now the question is, where do we actually go? This looks like a pretty big location. We have floating cans. 
Let me go ahead and grab that bad boy real quick. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Almost thought these were like footprints. If I was a hidden treasure, if I was a radar gun thing, radar detector, where would I hide? Where would I go? Nobody knows. We have a tent. We have a couple different tents. Not sure why we have tents out in this location. Somebody has been camping, and I have more freaking floor. Yay. I have so much floor upgrades. I should probably actually try to upgrade one of these days. All right, guys. We have some more trash here. We have, oh, a... Can I take this? Why has it got a green star? Interesting. Oh, oh, oh it's a magazine. How do I grab it? That's it. All right, well, let's bring this out here, see if there's anything that we can get. Why can't we take this? I'd like to actually sell that. You know what I'm saying? We can make a couple of dollars off it. Those things are like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, depending on how good they are and how big they are. They're not cheap, and it's still inflated, dude. That's some freaking money. All right, nothing in here that we can take, guys. We're going to try to get every little item that we possibly can. Uh, nothing going on back here. We can't go through the branches. Evidently, they are the world's strongest branches. Look at this view. Like, this is absolutely beautiful, man. I would love this. You know, if I was out here, dude, I'd be building me a, a campsite, like, right here, right... Uh, maybe not. That's on a hill. <laughs> you freaking roll down in the water. That'd be a rude awakening, but I would definitely camp in this location right here where these guys are camping. You wake up, you hear that, the birds, the squirrels, the bears, the lions, whatever else you hear. Uncle Billy chugging some beer. What is it? Um, I don't know if I want to interact with this thing. I can't. It doesn't let me interact. So we're going to continue on, folks. We're going to pretend we didn't see... Anything. I'm here. I'm here drumming. I'm not liking this, man. Like, we're going to get freaking kidnapped by, I guess, the Indians or whoever that pack is. I don't know. Can I get that can? Thank you. So we cannot interact. That's weird. Hello? Hello? Nothing? Okay. Never mind. Let's continue on, folks. Maybe we'll find some. Oh, we have a freaking chest that is locked up. Where is that coming from? I just feel like I'm going to get, like, kidnapped and scalped or something freaking crazy, dude. Like, this is trippy as hell, man. Can you guys imagine that, though? Like, if you're out camping, you know, you're having a great time, and you know you're camping on some crazy island where there's really nobody there, and you start hearing that shit, dude, that would be very, very trippy. Um... I almost forget how to do this. I don't think it's very hard. There we go. Man, it's pretty easy. You just, you just move it. That's all you do. You move it over. And we have a backpack. What the hell is in our backpack? Can we, like, use it? Can we do something? Nope, that's our flashlight. What is in our backpack? Nobody knows. I swear, dude, if I cannot find the freaking buried radar detector, like, I'm going to be just... I don't, I'm not, I, actually, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to keep looking. I mean, we don't have a choice. Like, it's got to be somewhere. Where in the hell is it? Can we climb this? That is... That looks like bow and arrows. That's not... Uh, that's not good. It's not really good at all. Oh, oh, we have something. We have something. So, yeah, there's this island. And I don't remember the name of it, dude. Like Sentinel Island or something like that, man. It's in real life, but they are a tribe that they're out. They're secluded. And it's illegal to actually go to that island. And number one, yes, it's illegal. But number two, they will kill you with bow and arrows. They will shoot you and they will kill you. And they will probably eat you or do something crazy to your body. They don't care. They really don't. It's a real thing. I think it's a Sentinel Island. Google it, man. It is absolutely insane that in the year 2024, those types of islands do exist. So that's what this reminds me of. Like somebody came to this forbidden island and now they are no longer with us because that's you. they can kill you. There's nobody that polices the island but the folks that live there, the tribe that lives there. Oh, God, I don't know who that was. 
that's the only people that police the island. Somebody's here. Somebody's here, okay? And I don't know where. They didn't just vanish. They're on this island and it has to do some has to, something has to do with this thing right here and for whatever reason we cannot interact usable object what does that mean one i don't know how to use i don't know how to use it i gotta go in front of it maybe okay i'm pressing r i'm pressing rt and nothing's happening we have a backpack we have a backpack i see that turn your light off homie what are you doing can i jump on top of it no i just farted god my guy is so disgusting all right i'm pressing every button in the world and nothing is working so we must be missing something can i throw this at it maybe that will like piss it off yeah go oh my gosh you cannot even throw very far Nothing. Would you stand up? Why are you crouching? There you go. Nothing else is in there. Nothing's in there. Another, another can. That's cool. We'll put this in the water. Have it float away. There you go, buddy. Be free. Hmm. So when we dug that one area up, nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, we dug it up. But there was, like, nothing underneath the spot that we dug. Alright, well, so there is the cabin over there. Where in the hell? Oh, great. Now we're stuck. So there's got to be something to do with, obviously, with the thing that we can't even freaking control. Like, we can't even do anything with that particular item over there because it won't let us. This is very interesting. Oh, oh. What's up here? Have we been up here? Or have we? I don't think we've been up here yet. This looks like a trap. 100% trap. Alright guys, we're uh, making our way to the top of this and there's still nothing. So what we're going to do guys, because obviously the drumming was right over here. We're going to grab the spray paint can. That is a necessity. We're going to move this box. We're going to grab the trash can, or garbage can, or, jeez, we use trash bags. Let's move this. All right, well, let's go ahead and dig this up. I don't really want to because I have a feeling that this is not going to end well for us, but, uh, hey, live and learn. Oh, we need the axe. My bad. Live and learn, right? Oh, there we go. We're downtown. Okay, let's continue on. We didn't really go very far. What's in the box? Okay, so we collected that. Oh, look at that. What is that? I don't know. Where's our flashlight? Flashlight on. I hate our flashlight with a passion. Our flashlight is stupid. Would you put your damn axe away? You're breaking everything, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Like, what are you doing? You're chopping everything up. All right, well, I can't even see where I'm going. Why, why did they do this? Honestly, why did they put that stupid ass freaking face on this flashlight i literally could not see where i'm going i really can't i mean it, it makes it extremely extremely difficult to see well let's go back to that little thing i guess the the uh the issue is we have to find all the components for that little blue guy and so we found two we got like what five more to go maybe so yeah we have that we can place that there we have we have the head, so we have... Okay, so we have two more items. We have the wings. I'm sorry, just one more. I'm, I'm assuming the wings are just one item. The, the body there. So let's go try to find that last item. Can we take this across the lake? I very, very likely doubt it. So we're going to keep looking, guys. We're going to keep looking because, because we have to pass it. We don't have a choice. And this is a reason. This is the exact reason why. When I first played this episode, I stopped it like 30-something minutes in because we're pushing, we're pushing 19 minutes right now. And I'm like, there's probably more to this episode than, you know, 30 minutes of an episode. And there sure in hell is. There is a ton more. We're looking at, realistically, if I would have saved that previous episode, we're looking at an hour. We're at an hour right now. Here we go. Another dig site. I'm digging it. 
No pun intended. Let's move this real quick. Hopefully there's actually something under here versus like nothing. And there's nothing again. So let's climb this tree and see if there's something up here. I mean, this tree is just oddly placed. Leaving me to believe there's a rhyme or reason for this tree to be positioned like this. And I think I'm wrong. Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing up here. Is there something up top? No. What is going on, man? So you make me do this. You make me chop up or dig up the whatever that was. A piece of material on the ground for no rhyme or reason. Nothing there. This is where we were, right, guys? Yeah, this is where we were. So we're nothing, nothing to see, nothing to do, nothing to take throw that bad boy right there just because so if I was a bird's wings or whatever that thing is where would I be I would probably be up top somewhere I mean you are wings so technically you should be able to fly so and I'm, I do apologize guys I'm going extremely extremely fast and that's the only reason is because I'm trying to get this done you know, because I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit longer than what we typically do for an episode. But I really don't want to stop it and do a part three. Essentially, a part three when we don't necessarily have to. You know what I'm saying? So let's just get through this. I'm going to try to go as quick as I possibly can. Just so we can get this episode done. And we can solve the issue. And we can come out of here with 100%. Because the last episode, guys. Here we go. We actually did find the golden toilet paper. It was bad ass dude that's actually one of the first times that we located it during like the first the first time being on the location I wonder if these are like traps you know what I'm saying like if we step it on we get oh jumped up we get uh, taken up to the sky we we've been here right we just missed that little trap thing maybe I mean, I'm hoping we haven't been here, but I'm thinking we probably have. We have not. I don't think we've been here yet. This doesn't ring a bell. Usually I take these out of the tents. <laughs> that's just my, that's my ammo. Look at those gorgeous mountains, man. Like, can you guys imagine? It's probably like 70 degrees right here. Super warm. And you look off in the distance and you see the, the snow, the snow top mountains, which some of you actually probably do live in a climate like that. You know, when I used to live in California, we drive around and oh we've been here yeah see we threw the mattress here that's how i know i've been been to the different locations and um what is that and yeah off in the distance man where the snow-capped mountains like that it was pretty sweet pretty cool but here in michigan we don't really have any mountains we have some tall tall hills we don't really have any mountains here in michigan unfortunately um like if you go to the up though the up is absolutely gorgeous the upper peninsula and there's spots that are very very tall that look like mountains but they are definitely definitely not there we go folks we have the third item hell to the yes just a matter of being persistent and never ever ever giving up so yeah the up is absolutely gorgeous man you ever come to michigan dude my recommendation is yes see lake michigan you know I, I do live right by lake michigan i can't really speak for lake superior lake huron or lake erie um, but Lake Michigan is absolutely gorgeous. And then go to the UP. Go to the UP. UP is freaking phenomenal. It is a very beautiful location to visit. Oh my god. Oh, we have the head. The totem has been completed. Totem bitches. Uh we think it's the barn finders good totem. You better give me a radar detector, assholes. Oh, Oh no! Do we go in there? I see a lot of bugs. I see dead people. But for real, dude, like this looks like the pollen that's been floating around all day today here in in my city. It is crazy, dude. People that have allergies are like miserable right now because the pollen is freaking terrible. I was driving and it literally looked like it was snowing. I'm not even kidding. I'm like, this is nuts. I know it's early spring, kind of, mid-spring. Oh, I'm sorry. It's almost summertime. Never mind. But either way, man, like, it's been a weird spring. It's been hot. It's been cold. It's been cold the past couple days. 
but the pollen looked like... This doesn't sound good. Look like snow. X marks the spot? I wonder what spot that is. We'll just dig it up if we can. That's not X. It's a damn cross. <laughs> it's been a day, guys. It's been a day. Can I throw it at that? Nope. Didn't do anything. This flashlight is terrible. All right, what do we got going on? We have a triangle. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, we actually made it on one. Oh, no. All right, so these are clues, obviously. What did we just jump on? Which one? This one? So... Probably this one. And we gotta see if we can find another another clue somewhere. Do you guys see anything? Because I don't. Um well screw it. Oh my gosh, we jumped too far, man. Oh shit. Oh okay. I was like, oh no, they're gone. That is, like, not good. All right. Let's take our time. Take our time. There we go. There it is, folks. The radar detector has been located finally. So we're going to mark this for transport. How in the hell is Uncle Billy going to do this? There's no way he is going to be able to do that. There's just no freaking way. Man, what is that over there? We need to get our hands on that. I don't know what that is. Well, I'm not sure we can even get to it, to be honest. Oh, well, that didn't work. So we know those two go down. How do we get over there? Oh, wait. We just go... Let's go back. And we're going to go here. I guess we could have just fell in the water because it doesn't really matter because we want to go back anyways. Let's go over here, guys, see what this thing is. Are you kidding me? It is junk? I did all that for absolutely nothing. All right, well, let's get it here, guys. I don't know if we have all the all the items. I really don't. But let's go. We gotta, we gotta actually jump. Jumping is the key to everything. Oh my gosh! Would you just jump, buddy? He is very very special. Look at the bones down there. If you guys ever go to the UP, we have like the one of the biggest hot springs. I want to say it's in Michigan or the world. I don't know what it is. Or, no, I'm sorry, Natural Spring. And it is freaking awesome, dude. It is so cool. You guys definitely have to go check that out. I don't remember where it's at, though, so don't ask me. But it is really sweet. I have a feeling this one's going to fall down. Oh, look at that. We jumped it. We bunny hopped that bitch. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know if we can go over here or not. So let's try it. I mean, you might as well. Could be a crazy item. Look at Good thing we did go. We have a axe thing. Kind of. I don't know what we want to call that. They call that an axe? <laughs> we have some skulls. Don't need those. Can't take those. We are getting wet with the water. But yeah, this is what I'm saying, man. This is why I like this game. This is not a typical barn finder situation that you would be in. Like, if this is what barn finders do in real life, sign me up, homie. Like, I want to go. Absolutely. I would love to explore all of this caves in like old ancient stuff. Oh, what is this thing? Oh. Hey, Billy. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yeah, I was in a crazy, uh, crazy tribal cave. All right, I think we're good. Are we good? We got everything. Send job item by computer email. Well, we got to go back to the mainland. Gotta go back to our little location before we do send that. Let's pack up Uncle Billy. So hopefully we got 100%, folks. That is what I'm going for. I'm pretty sure we have to. If we don't, I'm going to be very, very shocked. Not even kidding, dude. Very, very shocked. All right, let's see what we got here. Yes, leave map and go back to the pawn shop. We have... We're missing two items. What are we missing? Doesn't really matter. I am not going to explore everything again. We have spent an hour 
in total at that location. Those two items I will find at a different date. Probably just jump in here and find those two items. Or I won't. Who knows? Um, but either way, guys, we are going to end this episode. We had a very successful episode, man. It was crazy. Like I said, that place is awesome. I love it. If I had the option to have a place like that in real life, I absolutely would. Especially with the tribal underground craziness, dude. Like, that would be cool. Hey, you guys want to go see something scary or, or something cool? Whatever you want to call it. Absolutely. Let's go. So, anyways, folks, thank you for joining me. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And I will see you next time.